This video is made possible by CuriosityStream. When you sign up at the link in the description, you'll also gain access to Nebula, the streaming video platform that Real Life Lore is a part of. Follow the link below to start your free trial today. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic bridge in the world. At the time of its opening in 1937, it was both the longest and the tallest suspension bridge in the entire world, spanning 1,280 meters in length and rising 227 meters tall. It provides an important connection between the city of San Francisco and Marin County, and on average, it carries more than 100,000 vehicles per day. What typically is a calm and serene landscape looking across the San Francisco Bay and on towards this incredible bridge all came to a stop just a few weeks ago as the Golden Gate Bridge now sounds a little something like this. Yes, you heard that right, the Golden Gate Bridge is humming, whistling, or whatever else you want to call it, but it is clearly making one of the creepiest and eeriest noises imaginable, and the citizens of the San Francisco Bay Area are not exactly happy about it. So let's explain the problem. It is important to remember that the Golden Gate Bridge is actually pretty old, and as a result, the maintenance and care of the bridge is extremely important. In fact, over the years, the bridge has undergone some major refurbishment projects, including the replacement of the suspension ropes, the replacement of the bridge deck itself, and various earthquake-proofing retrofits. Recently, this meant swapping out the bridge's west guardrail, which protects an extremely scenic pathway along the west side of the bridge. This guardrail is critically important because of the incredible amount of wind that hits the bridge each and every day. I mean, you don't want a poor bicyclist just to go flying off the bridge, right? You see, while Chicago is known as the Windy City, San Francisco Francisco regularly ranks higher in average annual wind speed each year. As the Golden Gate is the only break in the coastal range, for hundreds of miles, cool, dense, high-pressure air over the cold Pacific Ocean will push its way into the San Francisco Bay, subjecting the Golden Gate Bridge to an incredible amount of stress. In fact, over the course of its lifetime, the bridge has been closed several times as a result of these high winds alone. In order to prevent these types of closures from happening in the future and to make the bridge more resistant to wind, bridge engineers came up with a way to make the westernmost guardrail more aerodynamic, and thus better for the overall structure of the bridge. While the old handrail was made up of long, thick vertical slats, the new guardrail contains much narrower slats that are close together and allow for a higher percentage of air Air to flow through freely. While the bridge is more aerodynamic, the resulting sound can understandably be annoying. But to understand why this sound is occurring, you first have to understand what sound is. The sounds we hear each and every day are actually just made up of pressure waves that travel through the air and along towards our ears, which in turn causes the eardrum to vibrate at frequencies that the brain can decode as particular sounds. In this particular case, as the wind rushes through the openings in the guardrail, the wind becomes unstable, and in turn, patterns of changing pressure occur from the unstable air and sometimes from the vibration of the railing itself. It just so happens that the newly designed guardrail pattern creates just the right changes in pressure to create this extremely eerie hum that can be heard as far away as across the entire San Francisco Bay. Now at least for the time being, the plan is to keep the implemented changes and avoid re-engineering of the west side guardrail guardrail. So as such, if you find yourself in San Francisco in the very near future and on an especially windy day, well, be sure to listen closely for the eerie hum of the bridge as you are bound to hear it no matter where you are in the city. While it is certainly strange that the bridge makes such a creepy noise, it is certainly not the only strange thing about this absolutely bizarre year that is 2020. In fact, you can find all sorts of other interesting phenomena and other excellent information on all sorts of topics by heading over to CuriosityStream. CuriosityStream is an amazing website that has tons of top quality documentaries that provide excellent information on all of the topics that you care about most. 
And the best thing about CuriosityStream is that when you sign up for an annual subscription, you will also gain access to Nebula. Nebula is the video streaming platform made possible by many of your favorite YouTube creators. Here, you can watch Nebula originals like Real Engineering's ongoing series on the logistics of D-Day or Wendover Productions' long-form documentaries detailing curious islands and airports around the world. But best of all, it's only $20 for a full year subscription. Subscription. So for less than $2 per month, you will gain access to all of the top quality documentaries on CuriosityStream and the excellent content from your favorite creators on Nebula. So go ahead and give CuriosityStream a try and get free access to Nebula when you visit CuriosityStream.com forward slash real life lore 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching.